Welcome to the Monsuno Trading Card Game, where you hold the world's most powerful monsters in your hand. In the advanced version, you use your deck of cards and quick wits to engage your enemy in a climactic battle. You'll have three Monsunos. You'll play strike cards to attack and power them up. And you'll win when you defeat all your foes' Monsunos. The Monsuno TCG has two kinds of cards, Monsuno cards and strike cards. Monsuno cards represent the massive monsters who leap into battle at your command. The Monsuno's name is in the middle of its card. Right next to that, launch cost shows how hard it is to send it into combat. Hit points tells you how tough it is to defeat this Monsuno. More is better. Basic strike damage is how much punishment it dishes out. And powered up strike damage is an even better attack you can use after you attach strike cards that match your Monsuno's powered up strike icons. Speed tells you how much faster this Monsuno is than others. We'll talk more about a Monsuno's text box later. Most cards are strike cards. They're the moves that help your Monsuno's win. Each one has a name. Strike damage deals damage in battle, and high speed helps your attacks land first. Domination icons can help give you an unstoppable advantage, depending on which strike type your foe chooses. Launch is used to get your Monsunos into the battle. The text box on each strike card can give your Monsuno powerful abilities. To play, choose three Monsunos. Their launch numbers can't add up to more than 15. Then choose 40 or more strike cards. This is your strike deck. Put your Monsunos on the table in your clip, shuffle your deck, and leave space for the battlefield. Draw five cards from your strike deck and flip a coin to see who goes first. You're ready for battle. You and your foe take turns until someone wins. On your turn, you're called the attacker. Your foe is the defender. The attacker has three options, launch, attack, or recover. To launch, move one of your Monsunos from your clip to the battlefield. The Monsuno can't be tired, and you have to discard enough cards that their combined launch is at least as much as the Monsuno's launch. Your Monsuno is ready to fight next turn. Your second option is to recover, where you draw strike cards until you have five. Then make any of your tired Monsunos ready. Monsunos that aren't tired are ready. Ready for a battle. Your third option is to attack. Here's how. First, choose one of your Monsunos on the battlefield. Monsunos on your clip can't attack. Then, choose one of your foe's Monsunos on the battlefield. If they don't have any, you can choose one in their clip. Then you and your foe each draw a card from your strike deck and add it to your hand. Each of you choose a card from your hand and put it on the battlefield. You both reveal them at the same time. Then you see which strike card dominates. If one of your cards has a domination icon that matches your foe's strike type, you dominate. But if your foe has a domination icon that matches your strike type, then they dominate. If neither player dominates that way, the higher speed dominates. The attacker adds their strike card and Monsuno speed together, but the defender only uses their strike card. So if your foe plays Terror Tail, instead of Hades Sting, your attack dominates. Next is damage. The dominating Monsuno deals its damage, plus the strike card's damage to the dominated Monsuno. Use counters. Each one is 10 points. The dominated Monsuno only deals its base Monsuno damage. If either Monsuno has damage on it equal to or greater than its hit points, it's defeated and knocked out of the game. Both of these Monsunos are fine for now. After combat, you and your foe each attach your strike cards to your Monsuno. But you can only do it if your card's strike type matches one of the Monsuno's powered up strike icons, and if one of that type isn't attached already. Finally, the Monsunos go back to their clips and become tired. Use any method you want to show that a Monsuno is tired. If you're fighting with a Monsuno that's powered up with two strike cards, you can choose its powered up strike damage instead of its basic damage. But if you do that, you have to discard one of the attached cards after the attack. There are special rules when a Monsuno is attacked in its clip. Check the rule book for more info. Cards text boxes contain special rules called abilities. Regular abilities are obvious. Do what the text says and you're good to go. Limited abilities have bold words that tell you when you can use them. Inner Shine says lock, so you only get this ability if lock is on the battlefield fighting for you when you play it. Body Bullet says attacker, so only an attacker can use this ability. 
But even if you don't get to use unlimited ability, the rest of the card still works. Upgrade abilities are printed at the bottom of the card. They only work when the card is attached to a Monsuno. Most abilities have a timing icon. They show when the ability fires off during battle. Check the rules for more info. That's it, you're ready to play. If questions come up, do what seems best and keep playing. Or check your rule book or visit monsuno.com. Now it's time to hit the battlefield. Lead your monsters into combat, elevate your game, and become the Monsuno controller you were destined to be.